Montgomery, outside of a little place called Troy. My father was a sharecropper, a tenant farmer. But back in 1944, when I was only four years old, my father had saved $300. And with the $300, he bought 110 acres of land. My family is still on that land today. How many of you remember when you were four? Now, what happened to the rest of us? It was many, many years ago. When we would visit the little town of Troy, visit Montgomery, visit Tuskegee, visit Birmingham, I saw those signs that said white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. I would come home and ask my mother, my father, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, why? They would say, that's the way it is. Don't get in the way. Don't get in trouble. I mean no disrespect to Willie Mae and Eddie Lewis, having sacrificed their thirdborn to the collective romanticization of a country who never really loved him anyhow just like Martin Luther and Jesus Christ eventually defied by those who'd assault or assassinate them, a witting and willing sacrifice for peace. I beg your pardon because for the purposes of this poem, I need his parents to have the names Selma and Troy. Two Alabama towns, 86 miles apart, son of the South with heaven in his heart amidst the hell on earth surrounding him. Black boy with the audacity to understand God sent him to save himself. Save his hometowns and endanger himself to give other black homes a chance at a normal life. To give other black towns a chance at a normal life. Put his body on all the lines. Picket, color, front. Put his body in the way. Bridge, housing, bus. Put his body on display. Lunch, counter, guts. Show the generation that it takes more heart to take a beating than to throw a punch. He was a different kind of tough. Bronze, marble, granite, a survivor. The eyewitness left alive to testify about this country's miscarriage of us. A walking, talking monument to the legacy we'd inherit. And one day, just like that, Selma's son would be gone. Still warm. A horizontal history on wheels, the requisite congressional flyover, the unprecedented National Museum of African American History drive by for the culture, accessioning himself into the collection, into the DNA of a country on his way out. So I come here to say to you this morning on this beautiful campus with your great education, you must find a way to get in the way. You must find a way to get in trouble, the trouble, necessary trouble.